Hey guys, I wanted to take this opportunity today to talk about some stuff that's been going on recently. Um, in particular, just this one main event that's been going that went on. Um, and this isn't, you know, of course, I've been making quite a bit of these update vlogs recently, but this is very important, um, and I think it's something I wanted to bring to light. Um, I mean, it's nothing that I necessarily could have prevented, um, but it happened nevertheless. Um, just a couple days ago, there was. Um, a huge fire um, and it was across the neighborhood like I, I can see, I could see the f the f um, I could kind of see where it was was from my house um, but it's the neighborhood across like right next to, to mine so it's the neighboring neighborhood um, and I mean w like I, I, I don't really know what to say like how to start this video because I, I want to bring to light obviously the danger of fire. I mean, everyone knows the danger of fire. Uh, it's, it's nothing that I'm bringing that's new or anything, but I just wanted to talk talk a little bit about it um, and just kind of how the whole thing played out. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it and then I'm just going to have, so this is going to be a very, very long video um, and then I'm just going to have a bunch of footage from it. Um, and I try to do this as, for the most part, as respectfully as I could. There were some parts in the video where, you know, I said some things which maybe I shouldn't have said, but Thankfully, first off, um, just just a word of before that no one was hurt um, seriously. I think there might have been a couple minor minor injuries, but no one died. No one was hurt. Um, if someone was killed or someone was hurt, then I would have probably made this a lot of a sh lot more of a shorter video, and just had a clip or clip or two here and there, um, just kind of out of respect because I, I wouldn't. I, I don't know personally. You know, I wouldn't want to. You know, just film a whole event and know that someone died somewhere in between in that event, and be like, "Oh, well, I don't know where they died, but you know, they died." So I just wanted to have kind of a more of a respectful kind of tone to this video. Um, so I'll give you guys a basic run through of the video um, of what went down at with the fire, and um, honestly, I don't know if I handled the situation as good as I could have, um, but. I, it was the first major fire I've ever seen of that magnitude in real life um, and it was it was just like, like the, the two words I could describe it was horrible and surreal um, so I, I'm just gonna start from the beginning so the beginning is I'm laying on my bed right right in my room right here um, and this was what, 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 what was the date the exact date well, let me try to remember it was I believe it was Monday the 22nd, um, and this was Monday the 22nd at around 6.41, I think it was 6.40, it was around 6.40 that I noticed the um, sirens, the alarm, and the smoke. Well, obviously I, I noticed the alarm first, but I was laying down, I'm like, what is that alarm? I'm like, okay, this sounds like the neighborhood alarm like right next to us, because they kind of have drills sometimes, and ever so often there's a fire, they've had a bad... Um, history of fires so as soon as I heard it I got up I grabbed my camera which is right next to me um, thankfully and I just grabbed I think a couple spare batteries which were just laying right next to me because I was in the middle of I think importing something so and I ran out um, and I looked up and I could clearly see some smoke coming off the built top of the building and I'm like oh no this is not good in my mind so I went under the fence um and by the way i ripped my shirt because of that and i'm not happy because that was my fishing shirt that was my really cool um fish eat sleep repeat whatever that, that, that shirt it had a little rip right here and i'm not too happy about it but you know that, that's the least of my worries right now it really should be but anyway i ran over there and obviously i start trying to kind of vlog about it um and while i'm going over there and sh i'm trying to tell you guys kind of you know what's going on um, I get there and I see smoke from about halfway in the middle of the building. So the, the, the if this is the building right here, if it's like a long stick, imagine it a long stick because that's basically what it is. And there's there's um, smoke coming from here all the way to here on the roof. This whole area has smoke kind of coming going that way, um, and most of the smoke was in the middle. And I noticed that, and um, you know I'm like, oh no. But by this time, by the time I'm there, the fire department is almost there. Um, the, the fire department was basically pulling up. So um, I was like, okay, I don't need to call 911. Um, the fire department's already here. And in my mind, I was like, okay, they'll have this under control in just a couple minutes, and it'll be completely, completely fine. No one will, you know, you know, maybe there's some minor damage, but I, I, I always just think everyone's going to be completely fine, and everything's going to be hunky dory. But I was, I couldn't be far, further from wrong. Um, so. 
I kind of sat there and just filmed for a little bit. I'm like, oh yeah, they're, they're going in there. And I filmed the fire department do their thing. And then I looked up and I realized I could see flames starting to come out from the top of the building. And that's when I started um, kind of taking it a little bit more serious. I'm like, oh no, they're, this does not look good at all. It looks like they might, this might turn into a huge fire. And keep in mind, this day, the reason why there's so much mic noise is because there is just wind billowing and billowing. Um, it went from, I don't know which the exact northeast, south and west, but it went from my left to my right if I'm looking at the building from the from the perspective I was looking at for the most part. Um, so it was just blowing and blowing very, very hard. So that obviously did not help the fire. It made it spread even faster and um, basically fueled the fire. Um, and I know there was one point um, with this was this all came. This was all was taking place in about a couple minutes. So obviously the police, no, not the police officers, the um, fire, fire, firemen were knocking on the door, um, doors, making sure everyone was starting to get out. At this point, I'm still kind of looking. I'm like, okay, okay, what's going on here? Are they going to, you know, put the fire out quickly or what is this going to be? And then all of a sudden I see in the roof, I see a little, um, like an ember kind of appear in the, on the side roof because the roofs are like flat on the top but slanted on the sides. So from the point I was looking at, it was like slanted like this and like right about here. I saw a little ember um, starting to appear. I'm like, oh no, that can't be good. And I remember around that time there was there were a couple fire um, firefighters right in front of me, and they had flashlights. They were obviously assessing the situation, and they um, scanned it and they saw that part. And like they, and at this point they had the radios up and everything. Um, so and they reported obviously that they were gonna have a, you know, they could there's fire starting to come through. So obviously at that point there was already flames inside the buildings. Um, so. <sighs> After that, I, 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 um, I'm not sure when I put down the camera, but at one point I did put down the camera for a little bit because I wanted to actually, like, you know, do something. So I, I, I there was a part where you could see in, in the v footage that I have that I actually was, like, yelling at people to kind of get out, but I didn't get that, that close in the footage. But I put the camera, I did put the camera down. Um, I knocked on some doors. I kind of told people to get out. Um, so I, I didn't really, I don't feel like it helped that much, but... I yelled at some people and I knocked on some windows and doors. The f uh, so I did put the camera down for a little bit. That's why there's a cut. Um, I'm and I'm going to try to keep this footage relatively uncut. I'm going to try to keep it as uncut as possible because I wanted to have the, as much raw um, just footage. And this is I just just for documentation reasons, I guess. Um, and I mean, so and then after that. I pretty much at that point everyone in the neighbor neighborhood is up everyone has pretty much gotten out I think they might have had to rescue one cat but that's not big of a deal that, that's not really a big deal at all um, obviously human life is a lot more important than an animal so um, and at that point I was just praying to God that everyone was out um, and by, by that point there was you know flames starting to billow out of that hole and the hole was getting bigger and bigger and bigger um, and I was just praying to God no one was in there and everyone was safe and then soon they got a tower up there um, one of those you know huge ladder things and they started they were already spraying water in there they had a, actually a couple of, um, I think before that actually they had some some guys that they, they ran a hose through there but um, they eventually backed out of that and let the tower um, take over for a little bit so I, and what I feel like it was was through most of it they were trying to um, they were trying to put the fire out completely, but then I think at one point they realized, I, I don't know, maybe they knew this from the very beginning, but at one point they realized, okay, we cannot put this fire out completely. We're going to have to contain it to stop it from spreading. So they eventually did contain it um, to stop it from spreading, but the whole left side of the building was um, in, in, it, it, in the end, the whole left side of the building burnt, um, and there was nothing you could really do about it. So, um, I mean, it was just it was just surreal sitting there and watching. And I even remember going up to, I was in the stairwell at one point, and there was a kid's bike um, chained to the, to the, um, to the stairs. And I, I mean, I, I think it was chained to the stairs. I would assume it was chained, but even if, but if it wasn't, then, and I even remember seeing a kid's bike on a little balcony. And in my mind, when I was going through to um, knock on some people's windows and doors, I was like, oh. I don't have to worry about this. Everything's gonna be fine. You know, no, no one's stuff's gonna get burnt. It's just most likely maybe uh, there might be a small fire, but I'm, I'm, we're probably gonna get, you know, be fine. But then, like an hour after that, I was sitting there watching the whole building burn, and I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, 
I was standing right in that stairwell, not like, I mean, I know it was an hour ago, but I was just literally standing there an hour ago, and now that stairwell is on fire, and that whole building's on fire, and there's things falling from the top of the building, and they're, you know, it, I mean, it, it was it was just like that. And then eventually, um, there was a part where, you know, obviously this part started collapsing, and um, st stuff, and we were afraid that the embers and stuff that was coming from the fire, that um, everything was going to land in the grass and light st some stuff on fire. Fortunately, it didn't for the most part, although at one point, um, the fire started kind of, um, like, it threw some materials, because the building was basically falling apart, um, on the grass that was closest to me. And so they had to, the fire department had to bring out a line there to stop it. They basically soaked the whole grass, um, make sure the fire did not spread there. Um, and, I mean, besides that, I don't really know what else to say, but um, eventually it did go out. I think the fire lasted about two and a half to three hours. During that time, I talked to some people. Among the people that I talked to were um, a retired fire department chief, I believe it was. And he, he was a reti retired for about a, a year and a half. And at the time of me talking to him, which was about an hour into the fire, he told me that out of a one out of ten, this was a six or a seven, ten being the worst, um, that he has seen in his whole 30 years of being a fire, um, being in the, you know, fire department, whatever. Um, and then I also talked to a lady who, her, I think it was her husband or brother, I'm not sure who it was, was in that same fire department, but he had the day off that day, and she was just saying, thank God that he has the day off, because she was scared about him, which I can understand. Um, and I talked to some other people, and, I mean, and it, everyone, for the most part, was calm, but I did, you know, realize, realize that obviously not everything is fine for everyone. There were some people that were crying I saw, and I did not film them because I don't, that's kind of like invading, I, I would say, even more than, I mean, I know watching, putting a video up with their building burning is bad, but putting footage of them crying is even worse. So, um, I mean, I, I think as long as, you know, I don't start associating people without their consent, to their building burning, I think that's fine for me putting the footage up. Um, and, you know, some people were kind of calm, and I mean, I just didn't realize that the whole building would burn. I was thinking, I'm like, okay, these people are gonna be fine, like on the end part. Um, and I remember just looking into the people's eyes, and I was just like, oh yeah, they're gonna be fine. They, they just need to get up to make sure everything was fine. And then I just remember, like, two and a half hours later, I'm looking, I'm like, that, that apartment's on fire. Um, it was, it was horrible. I, I don't know what else to say. There's a couple more things. One thing is I did see, um, one thing is one of the, mo one of the most haunting, um, images and scenes from the whole fire is seeing the fire from inside the building, um, consuming the inside of the building through like glass. So if you're just watching, like if you're looking into someone's room through their window and you just see flames, that was one of the most haunting images. And I did take a picture of that, but, um, I mean, it was it was it was just haunting for that. And eventually, obviously, the news crew did get there earlier, but th they were on the other side of the building, and I didn't really go over there. So um, the mayor was there for a little bit. Um, obviously, all the news stations were there. It was a widespread kind of reported thing on the day and on the night. I actually did get a couple phone calls from some friends to make sure I was all right, which I appreciate, and I was completely fine. The the, the next person that would have been in danger was my my friend. Um, which I was kind of, I, I tried to stick around as long as possible in case they needed, they were given the, um, kind of thing, notification to move all their stuff out because their building could catch on fire. That's one of the reason, reasons I stayed the longest because I wanted to be ready to help. Um, but fortunately we did not have to do that. Um, and besides that, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say besides it was surreal. It was horrible, horrifying. There were people who lost their houses. Fortunately, not their lives. Um, and if I can find it, I'm gonna put a link to a GoFundMe um, page. I know this video will come out a little bit later, but if you know if it's still up and if they're still taking donations, then definitely donate to that. Um, and I'd like to give a huge um, thank you and congratulations to the National Fire Department for being there and helping. And of and keep in mind, the fire department's like a minute away from this place, so like within two or three minutes. They were there of the call. So, I mean, th they did all they could. This fire was, you know, I'm not sure what it was, but it was just a crazy fire. 
and I would just like to say thank you to them and for making sure everyone got out safe. Thank you for all the disaster response people. Thank you for actually it was the Church of Christ, which I believe they took in some people for um, they had shelters there. So I would like to tell them thank you. Um, and besides that, I'm, I think I'm just going to leave it here, and I'm just going to cut to the raw video. Um, this is going to be again. This is going to be a longer video. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. There's probably more I want to say, and I know as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to kick myself for not saying something, but th I, th that's all I'm going to say today, and um, yeah, so here's the footage of the horrible fire that took, I'm not sure exactly what the statistics were for how many apartments, but they, they left many people homeless for a while, and um, so here's, here's the footage. Okay guys, so we, we just saw this, these um, flames, or not these flames, well, there are flames, but oh my gosh, we just saw this, these, um, the smoke and we heard the alarms going off and the fire department actually is right there, it's coming down right now, and there's a fire right here, let me see how close I can get to it, oh, I don't know how, if you guys can see that or not, there's a whole fire right here, oh dang, Make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna go this way. So I'm not in the smoke. Whoa. Okay. This wind isn't helping either. There they are. Fire department. They're already here. I'm not going to get any closer. You can see how the smoke rises a little. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go to the other side. I might go all the way around there. I'm not gonna go cut through. I'm not gonna cut through there. You, even though I've got the best view right here. You know. You gotta go. Yeah. Well, the, uh, and also the wind's not making it better. I'm gonna go. Hey, you want to go to the other side? Or... Okay, well, go do your homework. I'm going to um, vlog the dead people. pretty bad but I think they've contained most of it now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go walk through here real quick real quick oh it smells like a camp, it smells like a campfire actually I'm gonna actually it smells pretty good 
I'm gonna go around here because I don't wanna interfere with anything. Are those flames? Oh, it was just a... Oh, I'm so dude. You can see them right there. The dang building's on fire. My gosh. Like the roof's on fire. in the middle. I, I just hope, I just wanted to make sure everyone was out so it doesn't just spread everywhere. I 
I, don't, I hope not. I hope no one's in there. Yeah, because of the wind. Yeah, it's blowing it. Dude, this is not good. This is bad. I'm gonna go knock on some of on some of the windows, make sure everyone's out. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're out. I bet everyone's out. I don't think anyone else that one. That's bad. That's really bad. Why are you going back in the Wait, why is it smoking over here? Why is it smoking over here? Why is it smoking over here? Is everyone out? Hashtag selfie, I was just kidding. Oh, I can still see the flames. Oh, I This is really bad. Guys, get out of your house! Get out! Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, out. No one needs it. You're good? Okay. No, no one needs it. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah. No one needs it. Okay. Dude, it's really bad. Like the whole building is on fire. I'm not even kidding. Like I can see a hole starting to fall. What? What? Like I can see the flames coming up like three feet above the building. It's like a whole, whole it's so smoky out here, dude. It literally smells like incense out here. I can see the flames coming through. This is horrible. Dude, it's, this is bad. This is really bad. Guys, that's horrible. That is horrible. Oh. We have flames coming through. Guys, this is horrible. Yeah, you see all that structural damage already done. The whole that side of the building is structurally unsafe, obviously. See that? That's horrible. That's just horrible. That's all I can say right now. I could do something. There's nothing I can do. Dude, that's horrible. That is horrible. I wish there was something I could do. There's really nothing I could do. I really hope that could spread yeah. past like that one. Well, I went around knocking on some of the windows, making sure everyone is out, but that's about all I can do. Now, this wind is not helping at all. The wind is making it worse. Why are they not spraying I don't know. They're, they're doing something over there, but... Um, I mean, they've got it. Spreading down to the other side of the building further yeah. down there. But, dude, actually, if you look all the way down, there, there are, um, you see there, there's smoke oh, all the way. Oh, you feel the heat. Yeah, but you see there's smoke all the way over there. Yeah, yeah. You see the smoke? Yeah. I don't know how this happened. That's horrible. Oh, my gosh. I thought they were going to, I thought it was going to be contained, like, when Yeah, you, that's what I was thinking, too. I don't understand how it's not contained. Like, I, th I didn't think it was going to be that bad at all. 
it's a brick building, it should be contained. Well. I just hope everyone's out. I hope, I hope no one's yeah, getting Yeah, so I'm saying, I, at least, like, I pray to God it's only a few apartments. Or, like, worst case, that building. Oh, my gosh. Dude, because I was looking here. There were people going back in that building, like, just a couple seconds ago. My gosh. That's a huge fire. That's their uh, water heater that just... That's a water heater? Yeah, that's why there was some person fire. And there's a fire before. What? And there's a fire before you can hear the sound. Yeah. Well, actually, I was just standing right over here, and I I could feel the um I could feel the wa I could feel water falling in my face. Yeah, there are embers falling in the pool. You see all those embers in the sky? I hope it doesn't spray. Oh, that's horrible. Hey, hey. Okay, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. As soon as I heard that there was a fire, I, came, I brought my camera and came out and ran, but there's nothing I can do. Oh no. Oh my gosh. But now they're shooting water through it. I can feel the heat. Like there's water on this. Like you can see this. That's that's wet. That's wet right there. Oh, there's just a whole hole in the building. Dude, that's horrible. That's just awful. No. I just pray to God everyone's out of that building. I just pray to God. Just like that, a whole apartment's basically gone. The whole building's gone. It's gonna have to be rebuilt. That whole section at least, if not the whole building. These embers are going crazy. And there's still smoke coming from up there. Oh my gosh, dude, they've got the fire. Yeah, there we go. Come on guys, let's go. I know we've got our firefighters working very hard to try to contain this fire. Yeah, but... At least it's definitely better than it was. I know, at least that's what it looks like, but hopefully that's what's actually happening. Just you see, look. the problem is it's further... Yeah, you see that ember right there? On that corner. Looks like an ember, right? On that... Well, that's gonna burn out of time. I know, but, like... I'm saying, like, you can see the fire coming Yeah, out. from that way. Yeah. And that's what I'm concerned about. The wind is not helping. It's the wind... That wind is one of the worst... But, hey, if they can keep it from spreading this way, then it's not gonna spread yeah. as fast as the wind Oh my gosh, but dude, this is just horrible. I mean, th that's all I can say. I just pray to God everyone's out of there. They got the tower up. They got the tower up right behind it. There's just a huge hole in the building now. It looks like a meteor hit that place. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Dude, you see the you see the flames right up there? Yeah, yeah. That's that's horrible. I mean, I know that's the same. I'm saying the same thing, but it's just it's just it's just horrible. Yep, now it's playing up over there. Oh no. That's so much damage. Now it's not the time for me. I know. I know. I, 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 was, I, was, still. I was gonna say Gabriel, but, but no, that's that's just horrible. Look, look at all that damage. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Bring it down though. Like what? I don't know, they know what they're doing. They're probably adjusting for wind. That's what they're doing. See? They're adjusting for wind and it's spraying the whole building. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. This is horrible. Um, everyone needs to get out. Everyone's out by now. That's hopefully. No, that is. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, hopefully. I mean, like, it's only, it's only what, 7 o'clock? No one's asleep now, are they? No. And this is not the first time. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The new All those just completely burned down. That's horrible. Cool. Yeah. You'll see now they're in the direction. Yeah. But I like, I remember when I first got here, I just saw some smoke. I'm like, oh. At least it's 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 it can't spread on this side more because it's so saturated with water. You can see where it's like the black yeah. smoke. Yeah. It yeah, looks well, like they're controlled. It does. Yeah. Hopefully they are. And that's really all I can say. Did you Snapchat it? I asked if you were prepared. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here I am recording it. But I just pray to God that no one will get hurt. Yes, sir. Oh look, 
that it's all on fire. You, 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 okay, you see this? There's actually a hole forming there too. There's a little. No, this is just horrible. I wonder how big the hole is on the other side. There's got to be a hole on the other side. I hope no one died in this. I can see holes forming the gosh dang roof. You see that? You see that right there? That's how that started. That's gonna, it's gonna, the whole roof's gonna burn down. And those two embers over there aren't helping either. My gosh. I'm just I'm just genuinely mad now. It's it smells like incense. I just can't. I, I, I don't. Sorry. It cut in the middle. Oh my gosh, dude. The thing. Okay. So, sorry. My camera cut out. But I just don't know what to say right now. I am. I'm so freaking mad. And I'm. I mean, look at all those embers. It's like a huge bonfire. I'm gonna have to stand. I'm gonna have to stand back here in a second. This whole building's gonna burn down. Dude, I don't even know what to say. I'm so. Just so. This is horrible. I know you might not be able to see my face at all, but this is horrible. Thank you for the firefighters here to help, for helping trying to control this situation. This is just horrible. I'm just praying to God that people are not in there. I would assume that they're out by now, but I saw some people go back in one of the buildings. I'm like, guys, get out now. Like, you have to get out. You see the, oh my gosh. Okay. A lot of smoke, a lot of mist is good, but you see that right there? There's about to be another hole in the wall right there. Wait, where is it? Right there. There's about to be another one. Okay, my, my camera battery's dying, so I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. Um, I'll come back with a new battery. Um, I'm just praying to God that this, this fire is okay. Everyone makes it out. But it's spraying the ground now. I'm going to go ahead and step back and um, get a new battery and, and pray for these people. Guys, you can see the fire. <laughs> They're over there just watching. They're with Miss Lily, I think. What? Through here. The whole building's on fire. Pretty much. I don't know. I need to go get a new battery. I got there before it got bad. I am. I got there before it got bad, and I and I, I was knocking on the doors. Hopefully, everyone's out. Like half the buildings Is on fire. It's the one. It's the next one over. Yeah, I got there before it got bad, and I started knocking on the windows and yelling to make sure everyone's out. I just hope to God everyone's out. I'm coming back with a new camp with a new battery. I'm so so sad that this is happening. It took me a minute because I got stuck in the fence, but guys, this is not this is not funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude, the literally the whole building's catching on fire. My gosh, it's worse than before. You can see all that you can see through the building. Guys, this is bad. This is horrible. This is horrible. Oh my gosh, I thought it was, I thought it was gonna get better, but my gosh. Here, are there people on the other side of that? Yeah, I'm gonna walk through here. No, yeah, there are people. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah, I know. Because at this point, they're like, okay, it's going to have to burn down. No, that's literally, my mom asked them after the kid. She said it's not contained at all right now. Uh, and that, as of right now, there's no need for us to just, like, like start packing, getting ready to leave or whatever, you know? Yeah. But uh, stay alert and be ready to. 
when the time came Well, I'll be here to help, so. Dude, that's, hor that's just absolutely horrible. Even if they stop the fire, they're gonna have to do re, they're gonna have to rebuild it anyway. Like the. Uh, no, the issue, that building is not the issue anymore. The issue now. Yeah, it's the, it's the other, buildings. other buildings, yeah. Because as you saw, there was basically a fire that wiped out like five of them. Yeah, the that's horrible. Like, I can pretty much see through the thing now. It has not spread to the lower levels, though, and fires are no good, so. Yeah. And so oh my god. Some of the windows are broken, and you can hear that. Yeah, I heard that. Windows are breaking. Either that, or that's like tires popping. That's horrible. Literally, like, half of Nashville is over here right now. Oh my gosh, this is the, I think this is the first major fire I've ever actually seen. This is the first fire. In a lot, in real life. I've seen a lot on YouTube, but you know, that's just horrible. I mean, that's all I'm saying, because that's what it is. It smells like burning rubber. Because the car on the building? Yeah, well, of course. Bad, and everyone has electronics and stuff inside, insulation. Yeah. So it. You can feel the heat. Oh my gosh, look how much. Dude, it goes from there no, to there. It was, it's just how it's at the top. Here. Uh, someone's heater. Yeah, because the, the yeah, because the heater's on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. heaters and water heaters. On the top, I remember. Water, or no, our water heater's inside, but our heaters, our normal heaters, our AC, our everything, it's all on the inside. So I remember because I, I've seen the top. The 1950s, 1960s. Well, they need to be redone. So they need to like just be completely. Yeah. And the ceiling. The ceiling. Yeah, you see, there's fire on the ground now. You see that? The whole dang building is gone. Oh my gosh, dude! You can feel the heat. Look at all that stuff falling, dude. That kid. I was. I was. I was. I could have taken that kid's bike. I was, don't, don't no, I know. Do. Not right now, but I, before I was right there, I literally could have taken his bike. Don't oh, no. You see, that stuff falls and that stuff spreads fire into the grass. Well, now, now they're, now they're spraying the grass. Spread, no, but once that spreads fire in the grass, it's, it's it, part of my language, but shit hits the fan. It went, if, 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 dude, I, this, this heat is like a blazing fire to hell. Dude, I are you sure you don't want to start moving your stuff? Because I am not even kidding. No, this is, as, as soon as it starts spreading into another is, building or into the grass, I am. But as of right now, see, yeah. they know it's going to spread right there. That's yeah. why they're. This is just horrible. Really, the whole of Nashville is over here. No, not all of Nashville. Both of Bell. I know. Same thing. Probably Bell Meads. Well, a lot is coming over here. You can just see the insides of that. I'm still just hoping that no one's in there. No one's in there with I know, but I'm just saying there's always a possibility of someone being in there. Not in the apartments, literally, it's, they drill us every month because they know it's just a ticking time bomb. Well, I think the people who own this place need, 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 need to have done something about that. They don't want to. Exactly. They're just rich people. Dude, that's just horrible. My gosh. This is just horrible. I, 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 I don't even know what this I, I, Okay, I, I, I know. I just hope everyone's accounted for. See all those sparks? That's what I'm really worried about. Yeah. Thing. Dude, I hope they don't catch the buildings over there on fire. The, the buildings what farther down. Like the, 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 only the, the, the no, I know, but, but the, I know, but the sparks that are going that way. I mean, I, I, well, they spray the grass, but here, if they start, oh no, oh no, oh my gosh. This is. Horrible. That building is done for their kind of contaminated. Yeah, I know. That's what the man, that's what the guy told us. Dude. See the phone all over everywhere here. 
This is horrible. You can see the grass smoking. They've sprayed it with water. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm going to go, if I see them... Oh, they're making a scoot back. They're wanting us to scoot back. They're making a scoot back. This is horrible. Dude, I got, I got here, like, when I just saw... Because I live in an apartment complex next year. I got here when I saw some smoke and heard the alarms. And I thought they were gonna, it was going to be contained pretty easily. They didn't start pouring water until very late in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what was up. I don't know if they are trying to get everyone out first. But, well, like, it's, it's just horrible now. I mean... Uh, that's, that's just horrible. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's just horrible. I, I just hope to God there's no one left in there. I think they got it. There were a bunch of people on the lawn on the yeah. other side. This is the third building in this complex. Yeah, to go. I've heard. I've heard that the that, do you guys do drills like every month or something? Like fire drills or something every month? I don't think they're required. But, I mean, it's like, it's almost like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that building is close. Yeah, it's done for. It, the wind, the wind was one of the biggest. Very strong. The wind, at the, when it first started, the wind was like really, really strong. That's my, my, my building over there, the other side of, of the office, which is the last building that burnt down. Maybe that. It looks newer, yeah. yeah. No, but I told my friend that if, if they tell, tell them to start packing, I'm going I'm to go help them. That's just horrible. I, I can't, I can't. Even, I just can't. Yeah. Dude, I have half a mind just off the mouth, but I know this one. Yeah, I know. They're going to yell at you. I, at, see, as soon as you get the word, I'm. Yeah, that tree's most definitely, probably, well, it can catch. Oh, yeah. This is. I just hope everyone's accounted for. Yeah. You know what? This freaks me out. I look Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh my gosh. That does scare me. I know. It's what I'm saying. I thought. That freaks me out. I looked over and it looked just like flames in their house. And it's a reflection. That's just horrible. Oh. You know, they're just focusing on containing it in that yeah. building. To me, it looks like, for the most part, this house is contained, but... Oh, yeah. What was they stop? They stopped it spreading in that direction. Oh, look at all this wind. That's the last thing we need. So you can even hear more of them coming. The wind is the last thing we need right now. I don't know, I know there's at least three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Dominic, look at look, Dominic, look at that right there. See that? It's in the grass now. Oh. Dude, it's falling in the grass. Dude, that. Oh yeah. Okay, when I got here, oh, I guess they're cutting off the electricity. When I got here, I did not see a flame. I saw smoke. I did not see a flame. That's what I'm saying. This right here is already going through that whole attic. Oh yeah. 
That's so they're gonna have that to that entire care. building is gone. They're yeah. about it spreading to another building. They're gonna have to um This is just horrible. You can see the fire truck Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess they cut the power of everything. Dude, did you see the flames? Oh my freaking gosh. Somehow, look, there's still power. How the, the fire is going. Yeah, but how Maybe. the heck? My gosh, dude. It must have just burned through a cord. See, I knew all Probably. Already. It could have burned through a cord. When I saw the, the smoke, I thought that is already burning through the attic. Oh yeah. I saw the smoke because I was even, when I first got here, um, I was walking up to some of the windows and knocking, and I saw smoke out of that corner back there. You see the flames inside. That's just that's a horrible sight right there. Yeah. I hope there were no pets, nobody oh, yeah. or anybody. No, everyone safely got out. They set the alarm off as soon as there was a small fire. Like I said, we pulled in here. This the fire truck pulled in roughly an hour ago. Yeah. I just can't believe this is Yeah, that's 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 yeah, that's, that's you. Yeah. Well, where do you live here? They, they live right over here. That's what I thought. I was just freaking out. Well, yeah, and what I'm, you know, if as soon as if I if we hear something about how we're gonna have to get everything, I'm going to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can only imagine what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the top corner. Yeah, oh my gosh. So what that lady that Savannah is Yeah. The fire, she's in this building. She's in this she's one right here. Yeah, I bet she's scared as heck. Oh, don't she? I mean, the building might be okay. Like, her apartment might be okay. Like, the only problem is... Okay compared to the other one. It's going to take this whole thing. Because you know how it is. Once it's gotten in one thing in that one building, Oh yeah, but you know what? What I have to say about this? Thank God this was in the middle of the night. Thank God this was not in the middle of the night. Absolutely. If this was, I mean, it was what started about. Yeah, I know. If it would have. What is the name of this complex? Creekwood. If it if it would have started at like twelve or like one. Oh yeah. There would have been definitely someone could have gotten hurt. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That whole inside is just burning up. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's probably telling exactly what's going on. I, I, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that whole section's done for. This might be saved. But everything that is From done this for. This stairwell to the yeah. right might be okay. But everything here is downstairs. It seems like the good thing is fire spreads upwards. Yeah. So the see. Fire started to pop. He was a rescue dog, so he's kind of. It seems like the downstairs of most of these buildings is going to be fairly okay. Well, actually, no, because. I Oh my gosh. He's only 13. Oh, I know. Well, I told him that stuff, if y'all there's a big fire, they said, I don't see anything but people at the church. Oh, they said, I don't see anything. That's people. just horrible. That is. When I came home, I turned left right there, and I said, oh my god. You can see the car coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The balcony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see it all. I, 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 I almost want to throw up. I just almost want to throw up at this point. I literally just want to throw up now. But you can see the fire inside the window too. Let's see, let's see. I mean... Oh, it's trying to spread back in this direction. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's that's bad. That's bad. Of course, we don't appreciate all those who do things for us until we need them. Well, I mean, I, I've kind of always appreciated them, but I've never appreciated them. Oh, yeah, that's the electric thing right there. Oh, they're like a bunch of sparks. Like right there, that's the electric power up. That's the electric thing. Oh my god. It is. It's. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Bro. Okay, guys, I just went to go get my um, batteries. And my gosh, this is a really bad fire. Um, I was talking to a fireman, a former fireman of this department, of this area, and he said if he were to rate it out of a one out of a 10 he would rate it at six or seven out of 10 10 being the worst there are fire trucks over there at Bellevue middle honestly I'm not sure why um, and you can see that fire can you not see that fire okay look at this right here you can see this that's horrible I don't know you guys can even see that's those flames that don't show up that well on camera but look at that that's just horrible Right here, ours is like right here, like the grass across. Oh yeah. It, yeah, but we're talking about Okay, look at all these people right here. They just freaking half in Nashville here. I'm gonna go back over there and see how bad it is. I don't think it's I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't spread. I think I think they'll be fine. Um oh, this is just horrible. There's actually an electrical truck that just pulled up right over there. I guess they have something to do with electrical. They need to turn the electricity off or something. Oh yeah. Dude, this is horrible. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. They're actually over there right now if you can't hear them. Well, they were just there a second ago. Like right where that light is. Oh my gosh, the smoke. This is horrible. The smoke is horrible. But they were over there making sure no one was in there. I don't know why the heck you would be in there. Hopefully, I'm just praying to God that everyone is out. Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everyone's out, but I am just hoping to God that everyone's out of this fire. This is a horrible fire, um, and apparently I've heard that the people who actually run this place don't really care that much about the, the people here, they just, or the safety of the buildings, which I've noticed, because I can tell the way everything looks. Um, they just care about getting the most money, which I think is disgusting, and you should not do that. You can see literally straight through the apartment complex right now, the apartment buildings. That's horrible. Yelling back and forth.
Probably a news chopper right there. Just flying in circles. It's most likely a news chopper reporting what's going on or a something chopper. But that's some sort of chopper just flying in circles. Oh my gosh, dude. It's horrible. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go to another side to see if, um, oh my gosh, just look at the smoke. You can see the smoke to see if, um, See how bad it is. It smells bad. Oh my gosh, this whole area is just smoked out. I gotta see how bad it is. It sounds really bad. I haven't seen the other side of the building, so I don't know. See that? The whole top of the building is just completely gone. This is just completely devastating to the people who live here. Um, and I'm trying to be as respectful as possible. Um, but my gosh, this is horrible. You can actually see the firefighters doing their work inside. You can see them right there. Some things and talking to some people. 
And yes, I'll be up for the morning thing. I just wanted to see this because it's really bad and I've never seen anything like it. So, come to it. Bye. There's a camera guy from probably some com news company source place. I'm not really sure where though. But. Okay, so this has just been surreal. Um, I'm not going to say much until I take a... Um, I'm going to go to sleep, probably wake up tomorrow refreshed a little bit, um, and maybe make a little bit more of a sit-down vlog about it and put it all into one huge long video to talk about. I'm not really sure what to say right now. I've tried to be as respectful as I can for this whole ordeal. Um, I, you know, this has just been horrible. As you can see by the many flashing lights behind me, um, I, I just, I just can't believe this happened, and I hope it never happens again.